Hey everyone. Welcome again to our quest for love. This love quest is beginning on August the 28th, 2017. This is a journey without passport or suitcase. All that you need, you are. It is not about having the right gear. It is not about having anything at all. It is about being. We left our last quest, having looked into the eyes of the other and finding only mirrors. Fortune shined on us then, for these were specially formulated mirrors. They were more like windows, and they were made just for us. They showed us the depths of ourselves. They showed us what propels that image in the mirror. It is this self, this self within the body, that embarks on this quest. This self has the answers. This self knows the questions before they're asked. This self is that component of you that brought you here at this particular moment in linear time. We arrive at the point in this discussion now where the big secret is revealed, the purpose of this quest. The reason we are on this quest is found in one word, trust. You see, regardless of where you are on your travels through love, how far you proceed depends on trust. This is not trust in the traditional form that definition of trust looks like, can I believe she loves me? Can I trust he is true to me? Can I trust that he or she won't hurt me? Think back to our last quest where we remember that all others are not real, but mirrors of self. If we accept for a moment the truth there, all questions become reciprocal. Can I believe that I love me? Can I trust that I am true to me? Can I trust that I won't hurt me? These feel like very different questions, but they become the foundation for joy. Our answer tells us everything and reveals much that we've been hiding. What is exposed here is your core belief, for your life has not been a series of successes and failures in love but rather a journey to self-love. How close have you come to bliss? This is not a discussion of sexual ecstasy, but an actual inquiry. For the depths into which you've let yourself be seen by another, define the upper limits of the intimacy, joy, and love you'll allow. We've begun now a time of authenticity, which is personal, global, and cosmic. What does this look like? It looks like you cannot escape yourself. Who you are is right here, right now. You are all of it. You just be you. That saying has never been more appropriate. Right now, it is all about you. This means that if you were waiting for the perfect moment to say, to do, or to feel something that seemed a bit out there or risky, wait no longer. You can't help but be seen for all that you are, so you may as well flaunt it. It's obvious to us anyway, this you you've kept beneath your hat. This moment now has brought everything to the surface. The solar eclipse on August 21st, 2017, was a fresh start and a new beginning. The light has sunk its roots and defined the atmosphere here on Gaia. What you can do as we begin this quest is take a step towards full exposure. No need for the full Monty yet, but like our birthday suits, 
We've already arrived with all that we need. We are brilliant beacons of light, here to anchor the force of love on this new earth. Consider now each other. These voices, opinions, costumes, and dramas offer witness to the internal and external transformation. We are pulled and pushed from risk to safety, from anger to despair, from victory to setback, from strength to weakness, from joy to sadness, from love to fear. The game of polarity is set on rerun for the moment. In each instance, contemplate what love would do. Love would trust, love would risk, love would accept without reservation, love would do all of this without fear. We are as newborn babes now, gripping tightly to the Creator's paintbrush. What will our new life look like? It is our work of art. With each stroke, the truth emerges. The truth is love. Only the most skilled artisans are given these brushes. These master artists are us. We are the ones we've been waiting for. Let's do this. See you tomorrow. With gratitude and so much love. So far.